Hello folks, hope you're all keeping well, and yes, we're finally doing a rabbit hunting video. Yes, I know it's been a long time coming, but with everything that's happened over the last couple of years, we're finally out after the rabbits again. It was a nice evening, without being too warm, and we had some scorchers through the week, but this was much more comfortable to stalk through. So I decided to go down to a local farm and see if I could get a few rabbits. Now, the silage on this farm has been cut about two weeks ago, so I'm concentrating my search for the rabbits in those fields where the grass is short enough now to be able to see the rabbits. And the first rabbit I spot is away to my right. It's about 85 yards away. So, I decided to stalk in a wee bit closer. Now, the rabbit obviously knows I'm there, as it was standing up in alarm. So, I'm just trying to lower my profile a little to look less human-like, while I stalk in a wee bit closer. Oh, I better tell you about the rifle. I'm using an FAC FX Crown and 2.2 calibre with a Bushnell Tactical Elite 2.5 to 16 by 42 scope. I'd managed to get myself within 55 yards, so I checked the little range card I'd made for myself the night before to see how many clicks I needed up. I got myself settled into a comfortable shooting position, then started the Tacticam 5.0. And, with that, we had the first rabbit of the night. And, the first rabbit I've ever shot with the H&N slugs. I'm using the 21 grain .218 slugs, which certainly seemed to be doing the business. The slug seems to have struck it just below the ear, and exited out the other side. And it seems to be a little buck rabbit, cause there's his little fun bags. I wish I had a pound for every time somebody asked me, why do you give the rabbits belly a squeeze? Well, it's basically just to empty their bladder of any pee before you put it into the bag. And the little flick is just to get any of that thick congealed blood out of the rabbit's ears. With the rabbit safely in the bag, we'll head round to the next likely spot. Now, this is the laneway up into the farm, and behind the hedge on the left hand side of the screen is the farmer's garden, where the rabbits have decided to dig into the hedgerow at the bottom of it. Now, there's no rabbits in the garden at the minute, but on the way up the lane I did spot a couple of rabbits in the field at the bottom of the garden and hopefully they might still be there. Yes, the little darlings are still there, at about 65 yards. Another quick look at the range card, and we'll set the scope for that distance before getting into position. I'll not need the game bag, it'll be in the road and the shooting sticks aren't much use to me here either. So I decided to sit down on my rear end and do a little butt shuffle to get into position. Not very dignified looking I admit, but highly effective. And the gate should give me a good rest for the rifle.
the nearest rabbit to me has noticed the movement and is about to bolt. But thankfully, I beat him to the punch. Okay, we'll grab our gear and go get the rabbit. Once I've pulled the trailers out of my crevice, that is. Oh, wouldn't you credit it? It was just a wee baby. Well, half grown anyway. But since the farmer wants them removed out of the garden, they have to go. I've walked round to the next couple of fields that were cut for silage. There's two entries to two separate fields on the hedgerow on the right hand side here. I didn't see anything in the first field but as soon as I kicked round the hedgerow in the second field I noticed two rabbits along the far hedgerow. I ranged the hedge behind the rabbits at about 60 yards, which on my little range card is about 15 clicks. I got the rifle and the shooting sticks ready for the shot before I moved back round the corner of the hedge so there's less faffing about to spook the rabbits. The rabbits are on alert, but since this ground hasn't been shot much this last couple of years, they haven't run off yet thankfully. Yeah, let you go. Yes, I know, I could have had a double there, but unlike the farmer's garden, the rabbits in this area only need to be controlled, not eradicated totally, so it's sort of vermin control at your leisure you could say so this rabbit will always be there for another day I've been pretty impressed with the H&N slugs especially the 21 grain 0.218s as I've had fairly good groups out to even 100 yards with both the standard STX liner and the FX superior light liner plus with the larger transfer port from Huma that I got through Ergon 101, thanks again Giles, I managed to push them out to 906 feet per second, even with just a 500 millimeter barrel. Once I walked into the neighbouring field, I could very quickly see by the evidence on the ground that there was a good number of rabbits here. There was shallow scrapes in the ground where the rabbits had been digging, plus a lot of old and new dung piled up. And in the hedgerow through the long grass you could see where the rabbits had been coming and going. So definitely a good place to revisit again. Now the farmer had told me that the neighbouring farm 
have been complaining about rabbits on his ground also. Now I had shot there in the past years ago but I asked him to send him a text just to make sure if he saw me he knew what I was up to. And, sure enough, once I peered over the hedge into the neighbours, I instantly spotted a couple of rabbits. But they were a bit of a distance away, 70 and 80 yards, which is a bit more than what I usually shoot at. Thankfully though, while I was setting up the little range card I was using with the aid of the Strolic Pro app on my phone, I took the rifle out to the range and shot it at 50, 70 and 100 yards just to confirm that what the ballistic app was telling me actually worked in the real world and it did, it was bang on. So I was quietly confident that there shouldn't be any problems at that sort of ranges. That's so long as I could get a nice stable shooting position that is. The first rabbit was now at 65 yards, which is about 19 clicks with my setup. The long grass and flies were annoying me a little, but I was still able to get into a nice stable nailing position with the shooting sticks. That's the closest one down, but I had to move a little to my right to get a clear shot at the other one. This is where the shooting sticks really comes in handy, as a bipod in this long grass would be absolutely useless. The second rabbit was bang on at 80 yards, so I added 13 clicks. If my maths was correct, we should be okay. bang on again. I think that's the longest shot I've ever taken on a rabbit. Well, with an air gun anyway. Now my problem was, how do I get over to get them, as there was no gateways into the neighbouring ground. That and there was a big bull giving me the stink eye from across the field. So, leaving my gear behind me in case I needed to make a quick retreat, I climbed under one barbed wire fence, across a ditch, and over another barbed wire fence. I'll just have a wee scally for the bull. Yep, he's just behind the girlfriend. Good, we'll make a quick retreat where the going's still good. Easy. I just have to get over this fence with the family allowance still attached and we're home free. Well, you'll have to take my word for it, but 
Thankfully, since I'm not walking funny, everything's still attached. Well folks, I know it was a long time coming, but I hope you enjoyed the little rabbit hunt, and the use of the crown and the H&N slugs. And by the looks of things, I'll be back for another day. So until then, look after yourselves and take care, hey.